Ross here from Makeoscopy. Basically what we're doing today is uh, we've welded together this chest piece of armor with uh, some, I don't know how thick this is, steel that we found, but we'll measure that later. Probably then, 3 8 inch or half inch. Yeah, probably something like half inch. Are you kidding me? Maybe quarter inch? Mm, 3 eighths. It's Darn. far above a quarter inch. You're very silly. Uh, but anyway, uh, what we're doing here is we have, uh, in addition, some car metal back here. Uh, which we got from basically the back of a pickup truck. We got it at a pull apart just for some sheet metal and we used it for this. Uh, it's on this little PVC thing so that we can attach it to things, although the PVC is long since broke. So basically what we decided was to find out how well this stands up against uh, three common pistol cartridges, those being 22, I've got a 38 in my pocket here, and then we've got a 9mm carbine over there that we're going to test it with. I'll give you a closer look at, at those in a minute. Uh, but we're going to set this up against that tree over there and then just open fire and see what happens. First, this is the revolver we'll be shooting. It is a Harrington and Richardson 922 chambered in 22 lr You can also shoot 22 short with it, but we don't have any of that on hand. Um, in addition, we're going to shoot this uh, Taurus like what, what was the specific? It's the Taurus PT-738. And it is chambered in 380 auto. In also addition, we have this uh, carbine, which is the uh, Keltex Sub 2000 Gen 2. And as you'll see, this is what a 9mm looks like. Very common round. But what makes this special, if you'll... Uh, It folds out, which is really neat. So yeah, those are the uh, weapons we'll be putting to use against our armor. All right, so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna place three on the top, three in the middle, and then three on the bottom there where there's just car metal. Uh, and we'll see how the effects of those three different places are. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eye protection on and then uh, we'll get started. All right, get behind me. All right, video. All right. By the way, air protection on? Yeah. I didn't even see where that one went. Maybe it went over. Right, or through the uh, bottom part. All right, so all the 22, this is 22 long rifle, um, they all splatted when they hit the metal, all parts of the metal, even where it wasn't double thick. And the, uh, car where metal. It hit the car metal looks like it tore right through. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we expected with the there car metal because yeah. this stuff's so thin that we expect it to flow right through it, and that's exactly what it did. Um, so now we're going to place the, uh, 38, and then after that the 9mm. Uh, we're going to stay away from the car metal after that, though, because we know if a 22 goes through it, then anything will. Um, so we're going to be keeping things just on the metal plates now. Alright, um, and also, just a note, um, we're shooting this at an angle, so if it does ricochet, it goes off into the woods, which, where we have certified there's nothing for it to hit, like no houses or anything. Uh, so yeah, if you try to replicate something, if ever you're shooting a metal plate, always have it at an angle, and then, oops, sorry about that, and then it'll hit it and bounce off. Yep. If it if it ricochets, the so 22 see, as you one, can two, see three, just one, obliterated. Two, three, and then whatever down there. Yeah, the 22 though just splatted, obliterated. Yeah. All right, let's see what the 308 does. All right, and by the way, this is 38, not 308. I misspoke. Okay, so never fired this gun before, so I'm just gonna place one or two in there. Uh, or I'll place one and then give Luke a try, and he'll All place right. one. Hit the top of the plate, I'll hit the middle. Eh, oh, I'm near the top. Gonna test this laser out too. All right, All right your turn. Thank you. Does that laser work? Oh yeah, it does. I'll hit one there? more time in that uh, 
center region. Oh, nice. You gotta get it. Alright, uh, right, that's all. We want Dad and Papa to be able to see this. So right, let's see how on. that 38 worked. Alright, looks like those might have ricocheted, but it didn't go through at any point. So that, that, and that were the 308. So it looks like it got, or 38, it sorry. scratched it a little bit more before just splatting, but it definitely so, splatted. Yeah, it splatted, but some of the uh, projectiles might have ricocheted out that way. Yeah, so 308 basically did not have a chance of getting through this or even denting it. Yeah. So... It, yeah, it went didn't pretty even, much like the 22 did. Um, didn't even dent so it. that actually is full metal jacket. So I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't dent it a little bit more. But I guess that's what the copper did that. Um, so we're going to check it out with the uh, 9mm. I think I'm going to fire one or two rounds and Luke's going to fire a couple. Now 9mm is the only one that we wouldn't be surprised if it went through this. Um, we're also not going to be testing 45 today, which is another common handgun cartridge, just because A, we forgot to bring it, and B, I do not have any doubts that we get through this, but uh, maybe we'll test that in, on a future date, but let's go ahead and get to the 9mm. 9mm. Wait, is it? Alright, got one chambered. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, that's enough, that's enough. All right, so, let's check out the damage. Nine mil, wow. So, as I'm sure you noticed, it just splatted on there. It didn't even get through at all. That really does surprise me. Yeah, the only thing that happened was my crappy welds broke, because I, I really that didn't was, weld these very well. That was his first well. time welding, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So there's I'm much just better a nowadays, slight but... indentation, but nothing, yeah. no penetration at all. Yeah, so we brought some extra of these plates, so I think we're just going to set some up and see if we can get through it with the 9mm. Yeah, we can well, lay no, up against no that log. Well, here, let's just set this up in here and see if we can get it to at least fold a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, so well. the camera. All right, camera's on. Safety off. That's kind of going to fall, don't you think? Okay, keep cutting that. That's all you had. Really? No, it's not. It well, it failed to eject, I guess. Hmm, man, that's hard to pull back. Alright, that's enough. Yeah, I think you tore up that tree just a little bit. Sorry, tree. Uh, Alright. Well, it so, definitely. So, the yeah, weld didn't if even. If you were to be wearing this, yeah, it dented. It oh, certainly it dented. dented. Um, so it dented just about there. See if you can zoom in on that. Uh, yeah. You can see there's a lot of lead on here. Um, let's see. It was slightly folded. It, yeah, it still retained that shape, so it didn't even fold that way. Yeah, but it, it dented a little bit. But you saw that kick was pretty crazy. That was a lot of lead. It was getting hit. So another so, interesting thing, if you look at the tree, the tree is, that's what the bark normally looks like. This is what it looks like. Oh, now. I feel bad. We got, we Ooh. tore away a little bit. Oh, of there's some jacket right there. Yeah, uh, we'll have to make sure, we'll, we'll come back later and make sure we didn't uh, poison this tree accidentally. Oh, uh, uh, lead won't do anything. It's a tree. Well, yeah, but it might get diseases through there. We don't want that. There's some uh, jacket. Uh, well, the tree huggers in the audience. Trees are pretty strong. There's a piece of lead. Here's another one. Wow. That's uh, pretty neat. Here's some more jacket. A little shard stuck in the tree. So yeah, as you can tell, these rounds just completely obliterate. Yeah, it, it dented it ever so slightly, but uh, 
Oh, there's a yeah. large chunk of lead. Yeah, that's why you don't want to be behind, beside, anything like that with this. Yeah, but the, I, it's better than a, a direct of, bullet there's hit. There's a little bit of uh, debris coming back in our direction. So, so, pretty, so yeah, pretty. it's probably 3 eighths inch. Probably not half inch. Um, but yeah, if you are wearing this, uh, the bullet might uh, send some shards somewhere, but it's better than being hit directly by the bullet. This will take the brunt of it. So, that's an interesting Looks thing. Like there would have been a lot of kick going back on you, though. Oh, that would hurt. That would definitely Cause it hurt. Because put, it put just a little bit of a dent in that region, if you can tell. It's just sort of yeah, slightly so, uh, shallower, you can tell. So, this would be viable plate armor if you wanted to use it for civilian purposes. Like, say, zombie apocalypse happens and you're worried that somebody's going to shoot you with a 9mm. This would take the brunt of the force. And unlike the uh, ceramic ones, you can use it. Multiple sure, times. sure, it might not um, stop the shards from going, but we can probably figure out a solution to that. But unlike the ceramic ones, it'll take it again and again and again. So it's heavy, but if you're really worried about getting shot, that's the way to uh, stop yourself from dying. So, well, while we're out here, I'm gonna shoot this bottle with my two. Wait. Uh, other than that, we're I gonna we're shoot much... the bottle with this on it and see if it shatters That's the bottle. That's a good bottle. idea. Okay, that'll be our final experiment. First 22, then, we'll then 308, then nine millimeter. Just so we can see how hard that is going back against you if you're being yeah, shot. That's... All right. First, we're gonna hit it with some 22. All right. Now we're gonna. Now we're gonna hit it with a uh, 38. All right, set that back up and then we'll hit it with a 9mm. All right, all guns on safety before I go down there. Good. Do it quick though, because I've got the 9mm ready. All right, man down range. All right. But yeah, that, that bottle, you can hear it go bing, 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 but it is just not failing quite yet. Now let's try it with the uh I'm gonna do the nine mil from a bit more distance. All right. Yeah we're gonna get we're gonna here. stand back a little Please bit for this here. one. Alright. Alright. Safety on. on. Man down range. Oh, yep, it's broken. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That is certainly shattered. broken. Completely shattered. Oh, so, wow. yeah, you do not want to be hit with the 9mm, but it so might. So, definitely, we would put padding on there if we were to yeah. wear that. Into a yeah, definitely put padding on there. And wow. maybe weld it a little bit better. All right, <laughs> that seems to be all of the experiments that we wanted to get done today. So, um, thanks for more. watching. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. Oh, and you ought to check out our uh, homemade 12 gauge video. Yeah, uh, we'll link that up here. And goodbye.